Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason with DevSlips.com, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to create a server on DigitalOcean. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create an account. I've already got one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. All right, cool. So this is our dashboard, and you can see here uh, that I don't have any servers created. All right, the way that we create a server in DigitalOcean is we create what's called a droplet. And you can see this button right here says create droplet or from the drop down menu you can click create droplet from right here. Okay, so go ahead and click on the create droplet button. All right, there's a few simple steps to set up a uh, droplet and we'll just start with the first step here. So at the very top here, the first thing we're gonna do is choose an image. All right, and they've got things, you can set it up on a distribution through Ubuntu, uh, Debian Send OS, uh, what we're going to do is a one-click app install. This is really neat. What it does is when we choose one of these one-click app installs, it's going to install a bunch of packages and dependencies for this particular kind of install and server that we're setting up. So in this case, I'm going to choose Node.js. This is a perfect option for when you're wanting to host just a basic static website or an Angular or React project. All right, so this is the image I'm going to select here. And the next thing we want to do is choose a size. Now, this is what determines how much memory and disk space uh, your droplet has. We're going to just start out with the most basic one here. And as your project scales, you can always upgrade the size of your droplet. So we're going to do the basic one here for five bucks a month, one gig of memory, two gig, 25 gigs of uh, hard disk space, and one terabyte transfer. And then at the bottom here, we're just going to choose a data center. Mine is auto-selecting San Francisco. This is the closest uh, data center for DigitalOcean uh, near me. So I'm going to choose this. And then there's some additional options here uh, for configuration. We're not going to worry about that. All right, and the last thing that we want to do is add our SSH key to our droplet. This is going to be your public SSH key that's on your local machine. Now, if you don't know if you have an SSH key, we can check that through the terminal. I'm going to open up my GitHub uh, account here, and I've just gone to their uh, support page and checking for existing SSH keys. Simply copy this command, and we're going to paste it in here, and it's right here. So this is my private key, and this is my public key. Now, if you're not getting any of this and you don't have an SSH key, then come to the next step here and click on Generate a New SSH Key and it will take you through the steps how to do that. Now, if you're a Windows user and you need to generate a public and a private key, you're gonna use a tool called PuttyGen. So in your browser, go ahead and type in PuttyGen, and it's usually gonna be the first result here with SSH, okay? Go ahead and click on this. And then what I want you to do is follow this tutorial. It's gonna show you how to install PuttyGen, how to generate public and private keys, and then you're gonna be able to use those keys to finish the setup process for your droplet. So I'm gonna come back over here, click new SSH key, I'm gonna open up my terminal. So what I wanna do is copy my public key. And to do this, we have to dive into our SSH directory. Okay, this is at root level. Now the SSH folder is a private directory. So do cd dot SSH, cause it's a private directory. And it's in here now. If I list it out, you can see that here is my public key. And what I want to do is I want to copy my public key. I want to pump it out through the terminal. So if you do cat id rsa and then dot pub. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Come back over to DigitalOcean, paste it. I'm going to call this uh, my SSH. All right, so perfect. So we've got this added to our droplet. We've got it checked here. And then I'm going to do just test droplet. You'll want to name yours something more relevant. And then I'm going to go ahead and create this. All right, so here it is. It's creating, it's setting everything up for us. Cool, and that's all set up. So now you can go ahead and click on your droplet and it's going to give us uh, some basic information here. So this is our IP address. So this is the address that any URL actually points to under the hood. And then we've got some more information. We can come into access. Uh, power, you can power on and off your droplet. 
You can resize it if you need more space. Uh, you can always increase the size, but you can't decrease the size of your droplet. Uh, manage backups, history. You can destroy the droplet if you want. Uh, do things with recovery. So that's it. That is how easy it is to set up a droplet on DigitalOcean.